Namaste! Namaste, Namaste Techies! <laughs> we are so goofy every time we start the show. Yeah. It's, it's, it's part of our show, right? So it we is, should be is. like that. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> well, it kicks it off in a very positive note. So, hey, yeah. let's go. And so anyways, it's good seeing you. And uh, we got another great show today. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you want to talk about Tenant Attach and some things related to it. Yes, today is Tenant Attach Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so when we say tenant attach, we're talking about config manager tenant attach or SCCM tenant attach, whatever you want to call that. Uh, so that's that's what this is all about. So so give us a rundown, Anu. Yeah. So basically today it it will be kind of demo, right? So I'll be showing off uh, some things, special things <laughs> in in the tenant attached from a tenant attached scenario, right? So before we get into that, uh, basically what does tenant attach, right? Starting with a uh, version 20. 2002 of uh, configuration manager microsoft uh, start, give, started giving us an option to upload uh, the devices to the cloud service right yeah. so basically that is what tenant attach is right yeah so don't be attaching your config manager site to the cloud right mm -hmm. it's not just attaching devices it's the entire you know, um, uh, config manager infrastructure to the cloud. Not that you're moving your config manager to the cloud, you're just attaching it, connecting it, and yeah. then it, it enables all sorts of other features um, that uh, that you get with it, so. Yeah, it's it's not like uh, you are replicating your SCM database or configuration database to the cloud, yeah. right? So it is kind of attaching your devices to the cloud, and um, with from uh, after attaching that, right? Uh, you can use Intune portal or admin sender, right? Um, mm -hmm. uh, endpoint dot Microsoft dot com. Endpoint manager, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, endpoint manager portal to yes. uh, to trigger some actions, right? For SCM managed or configuration managed devices, right? Right, right. Okay. So it's like a one portal uh, uh, look into your environment, into your devices and 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 management capabilities. You, you know, config manager is still the 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 nucleus or the the you know the engine that drives all of this. So everybody's heard of, you know, MemCM and Microsoft Endpoint Manager. What is that? Well, this is what it is. You 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 start leveraging all these other cloud things that also uses your config manager to do some awesome things. So like a lot of the analytics stuff, right? Endpoint analytics and all that stuff. So yeah, go ahead, Anup. Uh, show us. Okay, <laughs> so let me let me try to share my screen. Uh, okay. We launch to, to again. You can say probably I'm I'm connecting from India. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everybody be patient. He's connecting yeah. from India. <laughs> uh, t -t 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 I'm still trying to find out the correct the, screen. Uh, I think uh, this the, is the one. The person that actually uh, uh, connects the in uh, India's internet to you know the world is actually having some chai right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay so hope you can see my screen yeah yes you see your screen okay, okay cool so let's let's go to administration and check what is where is the tenant attach option right let's quickly um, go to that first right if yeah. you go to um, co-management under cloud services right if you go to properties if properties okay come on <laughs> it is it is going to come up uh, because this is azure right so this is not um, and this is based out of us2 right. uh, so okay so 
configure configure upload if you if you go to if you go to this particular tab tenant onboarding and this is where you onboard your tenant right into into this particular feature and this is the settings you need to um you need to kind of enable right so over here you can see like upload microsoft endpoint manager admin center upload to microsoft manage Ma microsoft endpoint manager admin center <laughs> okay yeah. and uh, you can see i am syncing all all devices managed by um, mem cm right so that is nothing but uh, my sscm or configuration manager and if yes. you want you can specify specify a special collection of devices that can sync okay so that was a quick overview of the settings um, where you can enable and uh, as as microsoft always say like probably this is uh, just a 5 minutes or 2 minutes of configuration ta uh, uh, task right but uh, in the background you might need to be ready with a lot of other stuff right uh, you should have uh, some azure ad connect and you should have uh, uh, your uh, your azure ad um, user synced right uh, discovery enabled etc etc and uh, device right back so i'm not going to go into those details there are blog posts available um, uh, about about all these configurations so probably that's better to check those okay so in today's um, show what we are going to sh uh, show you is basically basically um how we can trigger some actions from um, admin sender or um intune portal right if if the device is sscm managed i am going to take this example of this particular device prod hyphen win uh, 21 okay so this mm -hmm. is uh, sscm managed device and um, and i am going to initiate some action from intune portal right and uh, something like uh, cmp wired and check what is happening so uh, through the logs right okay so before we start whenever you do troubleshooting uh, with um, tenant attach or related to tenant attach uh, then it is always better to add this particular column resource id right uh, i know you you might have already know like how to add it right click mm -hmm. and uh, go down and uh, select the resource resource id over here right, right. somewhere down okay yeah this is the one okay i have enabled that so let's note this resource id that is that ends with um, triple 2 now what i'm going to show is i'm going to log i am going to log into this particular uh, intune portal that is endpoint.microsoft.com and you can see this is my device okay and in my device uh, you can see some additional options okay so uh, in this blade you can see some additional options normally uh, if you have a intune managed device you might have uh, seen these these kind of blades right uh, discovery uh, discovered apps device complaints mm -hmm. device configuration app configuration etc but you might not have uh, resource explorer resource explorer is famous uh, uh, is only for sscm right or configuration manager right and even collection preview you might not be able to see all these um blades or tabs i don't know what whatever you want to call it right <laughs> okay um, but this is a tenant attached device and uh, that is why this this device is syncing uh, from um configuration manager to uh, the cloud service that is why you can see all these e extra blades okay for example if i go to resource explorer okay you would be able to see the details uh, of resource explorer probably this is going to take um, a minute or so uh, because it is connecting back to the configuration manager and getting the details for you okay 
so browser usage i don't know whether uh, i have enabled anything so yeah ms ms edge right that is uh, 100% use i only use um, edge browser right i don't use any anything else right that's good for uh, a good promotion for microsoft i think very good boy <laughs> <laughs> okay um as you can see yeah there are there are a lot of other options like you can see applications and if you if you click on application this is the you can see only the user based application user based deployment so this zoom application i have deployed to user uh, collection that is why it should, it is showing up here right so if you click on applications you can you have an option to install the application right and uh, reinstall the application you you might have you you have option to reinstall the application if it's already kind of installed etc right now the status is available okay and the cmp wet um look, cmp wet is uh, real time uh, management one of the feature which we can kind of real time query the um, mm -hmm. the clients <clears throat> and get the details immediately right if these clients are online so this is very useful right okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce you to uh, two logs right um these are the two logs which you which which can help you uh, to troubleshoot tenant attached related issues okay so i'm going to trigger something from um from intune portal and uh, logging uh, going to look at this particular log file that is cm gateway notification worker okay and uh, check what is happening uh, at uh, the configuration manager side okay how the cm pivot is going to work uh, etc right let's let's trigger something okay give me a sec let me go back to this portal and probably before before going to that um i have i have a blog post where i have already kind of explained how to kind of troubleshoot uh, troubleshoot a tenant attach back um, like tenant attach and what is the exact uh, background process right whenever you trigger something from um, the portal so i will uh, we will link uh, the uh, we, we will provide the url of this particular post in the description of the video as well right excellent okay yeah and also i have some troubleshooting uh, post where i have gone through uh, kind of permissions and other details how to start troubleshooting how to deal with um, 401 and 403 errors um, uh, in in uh, from um, the intune portal right so i don't know how many of you have seen this kind of error when you try to connect to cmp wet uh, from intune portal right so uh, so this is also probably a useful um, post Pro uh, we can link this also into the description of the video okay now let's get into the the fun thing okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see which is the which is the best one install i'm going to search uh, install application okay let me check my cheat sheet desktop manager okay anything is fine but okay let me let me try to run this right so i'm trying to run desktop and i'm going to see what is happening over here right so i triggered this action around um, uh, what is the time now 4 o'clock right so now what i'm going to do is this is my resource id right and i'm going to check my resource id and this is um, this is give me a sec resource id down right okay resource id 4 o'clock uh, came and you can see um 
admin service request uh, with url this is the admin service admin service is requesting uh, the re details of this particular resource id right and it is it is connecting to a us gateway of configuration manager this is the cloud service api as you can see over here right gateway right. api and it is now the intune is um, Uh, connecting the cloud service is connecting to a uh, configuration manager and asking um, uh, okay we need uh, we need this information from from this particular client right as you can see um, uh, the gateway the connection uh, creating a web request a web request is getting uh, rec um, web uh, okay it is it is creating a web request over here and you can see uh, the status code is okay status code is okay and uh, again it is checking the tenant id details etc etc right and if you go down you would be able to see this notification notification 200 that means uh, it is it is okay the authentication yeah. and the request is genuine uh, it is authenticating that and it is passing through the next uh, steps right and if you if you if you search again with the resource id you would be able to see like oh okay it is it is requesting for something cm pivot right and mm -hmm. it is providing the cm pivot results okay so so within within the, that a uh, fraction of seconds it 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 kind of initiated uh, the request uh, to the uh, to to the device from ssem okay so now if you can see some 404 errors and uh, as per uh, my understanding this can be ignored now okay so basically if you go down you would be able to see um some more 404 errors right one more for note for error that can also be ignored right then you can see uh, the the notification results are sending back etc right. things are happening so the no, the the results are already kind of sent to intune portal now if you go back to intune portal you would be able to see um the 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 results of that cm pivot query right as you can see i have run this report and you can see um the result is back and cursor uh, <laughs> this is interesting information right cursor bling rate on on my <laughs> uh, desktop right <laughs> so this yeah. is how this is very 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 interesting data right uh, <laughs> so so much of uh, power like th this gives um, a kind of idea how much uh, power we have with configuration manager right yes uh, we can yeah. get into all the integrity uh, integrities i don't know what 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 is the correct word for yeah, that yeah integrity right? yeah of the yeah yeah, yeah. of the of a particular device and you can get all those details right cursor cursor uh, bling ray, uh, rate and drag full window like uh, is 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 this feature is enabled etc etc all these details are getting populated right. directly from uh, this is live information directly from this particular vm so i'm going to show that particular device and uh, client and this is the this is a client client device where uh, where we have ag against this particular client device we have run the um, cmp wet query so the, you got the desktop uh, details from this particular client okay and also you can see uh, configuration manager applets right configuration man oops let me go back configuration manager see configuration manager is there and you would be able to see the uh, software sender software sender software sender you in software sender you would be able to see that um, the application which is available etc which which we have seen in the uh, in uh, from the console right so that is 
Ah, okay so that is that is the demo of tenant attach now yeah. uh, we have we have seen this this particular device and uh, blades related to that particular device right now i'm going to show you another device uh, which is uh, which is a co-managed kind of a device right and in that co-managed kind of a device you won't see you won't see all these cmp wet and all the other blades which you can see in uh, in the in the in the different device right so so the, the don't get confused um uh, with <laughs> with all these things but uh, if you want to try it uh, be, i think best learning approach is to build a lab environment and play around with all these things and uh, learn uh, how this works etc etc right and just to just to finish off things I'm trying to look at the last last entry of this okay let me let me drill down and okay so this is after 4 4 o'clock we have triggered this one so don't worry about the uh, two note two note four error and no content errors also right so i have seen that those things those are those can be ignored but uh, the notification results and all those things are very much important for the troubleshooting uh, purpose once as i mentioned before uh, once you can see the notification results etc etc for the cmp wet if i can search with cmp wet also i will get some uh, details okay and uh, this is applicable for uh, all the other uh, workloads also over here so if if you kind of if you want to run a script right for example if you want to run a script on cm um, configuration manager device you can come to the scripts blade and you can say like oh okay i want to enable this auto auto update for edge right now i can i can try to run this script for for this particular uh, vm okay so for this particular windows 10 uh mission now if if i trigger that you would be able to see that also over here in the log file so now it will try to connect to uh, the configuration intune will or cloud service will con try to connect to the configuration manager and uh, then configuration manager will try to connect to the client and uh, run the script right that is the process how it works right right okay script let me let me try to run something script script right so this is the, this is the one right so uh, if you if you search with all these keywords right if you remember what is the keyword if you are experienced with this kind of troubleshooting it is easy for you to understand what are the keywords to search in the log files and you would be able to identify the issues and you would be able to see what is happening etc etc so resource id is one of the key uh, one of the important information you need to collect from config configuration manager console and the other uh, important information you you need to check is uh, the script or workload you which which you are running right okay so i think um that was that was a quick demo which i wanted to show um yeah so basically like the there were any issues that would show up in that log that particular log yeah yep yeah that's a good that's a good good uh, good demo there with uh, the the different blades and how they show up on some devices and not on the other devices so it's an interesting tip there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so it's good i i like it um yeah. so let us know if you guys are using tenon attach and and uh managing your devices that way and and what challenges you are facing um you know 
errors and or if you had to do some workarounds and things like that. So it'll be good to hear from you guys on uh, on these things. Yep. That's all right. I think so, that's it for today, right? Yeah, that's it think? for yeah. today. That's <laughs> enough. So you gave yeah. uh, some really nice demo and <clears throat> some really good tips on on uh, how to see the correlation between the two and how things flow and and get triggered and 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 check for the particular you know errors if they happen. <clears throat> so that's awesome. Um, so I think yeah, let's call this. And this was a tenant attach uh, overview <laughs> and yeah. uh, a workflow uh, uh, show today. <laughs> so <laughs> all right. So until next time, you guys know where to find us. And you know we're always on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and everywhere else. So please follow us. Please like, subscribe, and share our shows. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter. All right. And until next time. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>